following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day solving all the world's problems to join me today on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that notification button, and you're following me on any and all the social media I have linked down below. That way, if there's a band, song, video, something you want me to check out, hit me with a DM or leave it in the comments. If you are going to hit me with a DM, please no spamming. If you are going to leave it in the comments, do me a favor, join the I Concur Army. It's easier than my sister. All you have to do is give the comments a cursory glance. If you see that your suggestion's already been made, or you see a suggestion that really creams your Twinkie, all you have to do is like that original suggestion and below reply with I Concur. That'll help my old burnout, resin-coated, 90s addled DJ brain get everything into a nice little organized list. I can put it in the handy-dandy notebook, or become a Patreon member. That's right, kids. Help the channel grow. Join the Patreon. Everything is linked down below. We are live streaming twice a week, Wednesdays, 11 a.m. Central Time here in the U.S., and Saturdays, 2 p.m. Central Time here in the U.S. Two hours of fun and frivolity and another opportunity for you to get directed to how to get your suggestion to me. Before we get started today, I do want to say thank you to Connect 200 Music to See, and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's video is coming from the I Concur Army. Previously on a Ren video, I did the Ren Chinchilla Chalk Outlines video, and overwhelmingly, the I Concurs sent me to today's video. So today we are back with Ren and Chinchilla, and we're checking out the track How to Be Me, recorded live here on the Wild Side. Here we go. feel safe in this bed there are voices in my head i've been talking to the dead and the fear baptized me my kingdom turned to dust and i watched all my riches rust have i lost the mind touch or do sad eyes blind me over and over we go over the hills and the valleys below oh and it follows me follows me home and it suffocates me Savior's die too soon for my sins 
Relax around me. Over and over we go. Over and over the we go. And the valleys over the below. And the valleys and it below. Follows me, follows me, follows me, follows me, follows me. And it suffocates me. Right in the feels, man. Come on, man. Hold on. I think he likes me. No, 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 no. Just give me a second. Okay. Ren Chinchilla, How to Be Me. That hit in the feels, man. That, that, uh... I think I'll be listening to that quite a few more times um, in the future. That's a beautiful love song. That is a wonderful love song. What I what I appreciate, I don't know if people recognize it, I don't know if people understand it. When you watch that, it's live. You can tell it's live. You know they are really good at what they do. Their control is so good. They're using SM7s. Those those microphones they're using. There's no room for error with them at all. And they're using them live and nailing it. So it's a beautiful love song. What sets it for me is the exchange, is what makes it so beautiful. There's an emotional attachment in the exchange that makes you feel connected to their story. I, I, if someone asks me, what is one of the most beautiful songs I know? I'm going to say You're the Reason God Made Oklahoma by David Frizzell and Shelley West. It is a perfect harmonic exchange between two singers. That's what you have here. A perfect harmonic exchange between these two singers. I've talked about Wren before. Wren reminds me of Dwight Yoakam. And here's what I, when I say that, here's why I say that. Ren has this really unique signature, cool way of delivering his vocals. There's a slight yodel in there. There is without a doubt the way that he'll trill part of his lyric with, with his off with his, okay, they're called onsets, but with the way he starts and finishes a verse, he'll put some, vibration some trill some little bit of yodel in there and he does it perfectly not too much it's not a it's it's not an and it's not an anomaly it sounds very natural for him and then her vocals i don't know if i said it enough in the previous video her vocals are pure sunshine and and what i mean by that is Regardless of the tone, regardless of the theme, regardless of the lyrics, Chinchilla's vocals, there are no dark colors to her sound. So when I hear her sing, nowhere in her vocals are there any earth tones. 
all of her tones are of the sky, right? These really bright yellows, these bright greens, when she's fluctuating from the, from the push to the, wisp, to the whisper, everything is super clean and super clear and super bright and thick and rich through the texture. And what's creating the earth tone, you, know, you hear phrases like keep it simple, stupid, and uh, less is more. And I said it about chalk outlines, that here you have three instruments, three instruments that are really about six. His vocals contain an emotion that adds to the instrument. And I've said it before in the previous video. It's like there's a difference between homemade mashed potatoes and store-bought mashed potatoes because one is made with love. So you, you, you feel that added emotion. Same with Chinchilla is that when she sings, that brightness, that sunshine is an added aura to her energy that she's putting out. So there's four instruments colliding here. And then there's the guitar, and then there's the overall emotional connection you make with what they're doing in front of you and the message that's coming through in the track. You know, I, I wrote, you know, Perfect Exchange. It It's similar, again, you know, call it what you will. Sometimes you hear two people sing together and you say it's not going to get any better than that in life. Like, they'll get better. Like, I'm sure they can do better than what they're always doing because they're always looking to get better. But when you get to sit and listen to it, when you get to be on the receiving end of it, sometimes you have to say, bro, it's, existing doesn't get better than sitting and listening to that exchange right there. That's islands in the – I know – it. I know it's it's not going to make any sense, but it's Islands in the Stream. When you hear that track, it is such a beautiful exchange between two people that genuinely and sincerely feel what they're doing, and it comes through. And Kenny Rogers is a beautiful vocalist, and so is Dolly Parton. So making that co comparison is actually a high compliment that that is the level I'm talking about here, this wonderful emotional exchange because they're tapping into something we all feel, the universal feeling, right? And again, I could be wrong, I could be misinterpreting things, but I feel like love can sometimes make you someone you're not, even though you know you're not that person, but you put that mask on, you, you portray yourself to be a certain way because you're in love, and because you think that that's what you need to be for that person and for that love to stay there, and then you get to this place where you realize that maybe that's not love because if I'm not loving that person the way that I know I am to be, now we're in, we're in a lost place, aren't we? So we've all felt that way. We've all felt, we've all felt like we weren't who we were. Like, am I, like I said, I could be wrong, but... I feel like we've all been in that situation where we catch ourselves behaving or acting or being someone we know we're not all for the sake of this other person or this relationship that we feel obligated to continue when in fact you're just you're just getting into a deeper darker hole so it's I understand that you forgot how to be me you know, it's a, it's a very, like I said, it's a very visceral connection that he makes with people. All of his songs cut right through all of the pretense and, and speak to you in a way that is very unique and individual. I've said it before, great songwriters are able to take a unique individual perspective and make it universal. And that's what Ren does. I said it before that if, if you don't understand why he is connecting the way he's connecting with his audience... I, I, I'd have to check your heartbeat. I, I don't think you're living. Like, I don't think you're actually existing out here because he's speaking and she's speaking to you directly in a way that is not from high, right? Because rock stars do that, right? They sing from this. Ren's not like that, man. He's standing on the street with a guitar singing to your face and it comes through. That's another one of those added oral instruments that he brings. And again, it's this beautiful harmonies from unexpected places. Their harmonies together are wonderful. 
Um, that is a beautiful duet. That is a beautiful love song, without a doubt. <clears throat> Absolutely crazy um, how good of a love song that is. Again, unexpected. That's a um, that's a slow dance jam. It really is, dude. I know it. It kind of. It. I don't want you to think it minimizes it. What I'm saying is that that song is universal. It's massive. So well done. Thank you very much to everybody in the I Concur Army. That was Ren and Chinchilla with How to Be Me. Again, if you have a suggestion, hit me with a DM. Leave in the comments. Become a member of the I Concur Army. Make sure you're following on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Become a Patreon member. Make sure you're having a... Not having. Make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel and you have clicked that notification button. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to join me here in Music City, USA. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side.